Prayer is not asking. It is a longing of the soul. It is daily admission of one's weakness. Those are the words of Mahatma Gandhi, and they hint at the profound power of prayer in shaping our lives. Friends, I believe that prayer, when approached intentionally, can become a powerful tool for manifestation. Prayer is a way we connect with a source greater than ourselves, whether you call it God, the universe, or your higher consciousness. Today, I want to specifically explore the teachings of Neville Goddard. Goddard was a fascinating spiritual teacher who believed prayer was not about begging or pleading, but a state of fulfilled desire, a feeling of already having what your heart longs for. Many of us are familiar with traditional prayer. It's the kind of prayer where we approach a higher power with our requests and petitions. We might ask for healing, guidance, or the fulfillment of a specific desire. Think about prayers like Our Father from Christianity, or prayers for specific needs found in many faith traditions. These are beautiful and powerful, but they often place the power for change outside ourselves. The problem with relying solely on traditional prayer is that it can foster a sense of powerlessness. If we're always waiting for a higher power to intervene and grant our wishes, we may fail to take inspired action and truly co-create our reality. Furthermore, if our prayers go seemingly unanswered, we might be left feeling disheartened or lose faith altogether. Neville Goddard didn't believe we need to beg or plead with the universe. He suggested a different, more empowering way to approach the concept of prayer, one that puts the power of manifestation within our own hands. Goddard, a mid-20th century mystic and author, offered a groundbreaking perspective on prayer. He called it the art of believing. Unlike traditional prayer, where we put our faith in an external force, Goddard taught that the power lies within us. He believed that our deep-rooted beliefs shape our experiences. Goddard's approach isn't about petitioning or hoping for a positive outcome. It's about embodying the feeling of your wish already fulfilled. This means living as if your desire is already a reality, cultivating the emotions, thoughts, and even the actions that align with its manifestation. The key, according to Goddard, lies in the power of belief. When you truly hold the feeling of your wish fulfilled deep within your consciousness, you imprint that reality upon the fabric of the universe. Goddard encouraged the use of vivid imagination while embodying this fulfilled state. This approach requires a shift in mindset. It's about moving from a place of lack or yearning to a state of confident knowing. This is where prayer becomes a powerful catalyst for manifestation. Now you might wonder, how does gratitude play into all this? Gratitude is a powerful tool in Neville Goddard's teachings. Traditional prayers often focus on what we lack, leading to feelings of neediness. Goddard, however, emphasizes a shift towards expressing gratitude as if your desire has already been fulfilled. By embodying gratitude for what you wish to manifest, you're essentially aligning your inner world with the reality you desire to create. It's a subtle but significant shift from pleading for something to feeling thankful you already have it. Let's look at some examples. Imagine you want a new job. Instead of praying, please grant me a fulfilling career, you could reframe it as, thank you universe, for this amazing new job that allows me to use my talents and feel fulfilled. Similarly, if you're longing for a romantic relationship, instead of praying for someone to love you, express gratitude for the love already present in your life. You could say, thank you for the loving relationship that brings joy and fulfillment. By focusing on the feeling of having what you desire, you're sending a powerful message to the universe. It's a declaration of your belief, and that belief, according to Goddard, is the key ingredient for manifestation. One of the primary tools Neville Goddard emphasized was the power of visualization. It's not just about picturing what you want. It's about immersing yourself fully in the experience of having it. Imagine this. Close your eyes and visualize your desire. Don't just see it as a distant possibility. See it as your current reality. Engage all your senses. What does it feel like? What do you hear, smell, or taste? What emotions surge through you? 
Goddard believed that when you visualize with such vividness and heartfelt emotion, you impress these images and feelings upon your subconscious mind. Your subconscious plays a crucial role in manifestation because it doesn't distinguish between imagination and reality. Let's use the job example again. Don't just see yourself getting hired. Visualize yourself in the new office, feeling confident and excited about the work. Picture your interactions with colleagues and feel the satisfaction of contributing your skills. By consistently imprinting these vivid images on your subconscious mind, you begin to shift your inner state. You embody the feeling of already having, which sends a powerful message to the universe and aligns your actions with your desire. Underlying all of Neville Goddard's teachings is the unwavering importance of faith and confidence. It's not blind faith, but a deep-seated knowing that the universe is conspiring in your favor, that your desires are already in the process of manifesting. When you embody gratitude for what you wish to create, as if it were already here, you strengthen this confidence. It's a subtle shift, but incredibly powerful. You're not hoping or wishing, you're knowing with absolute certainty. Imagine this, you walk through life with an unshakable confidence in the unfolding of your dreams. This confidence radiates from you. It shapes your decisions, your interactions, and the opportunities you attract. Because remember, your beliefs become your reality. This approach isn't about ignoring challenges or pretending negativity doesn't exist. It's about holding on to the absolute belief in the manifestation of your dreams, even amidst obstacles. Knowing that the universe is working behind the scenes to bring your desires into fruition. Now let's turn these ideas into practice. How can you apply Neville Goddard's approach to prayer and manifest your desires? Here are some actionable steps. Step 1. Set clear intentions. Start by getting crystal clear on what you truly want. Go beyond the surface level desires and ask yourself what feeling you're seeking. Is it joy, peace, security, love? Connect with the deeper emotion behind your desire. Step 2. Embody your wish fulfilled. Spend time daily visualizing your desire and feeling it as if it's already here. Practice this before falling asleep and upon waking, when your mind is more receptive. Use all your senses, paint a vivid, detailed picture, and most importantly, feel the emotions associated with having what you desire. Step 3. Practice gratitude. Cultivate a deep sense of gratitude for your desire, as if it's already materialized. You can keep a gratitude journal specifically focused on the things you are manifesting. Express your thanks throughout the day for having these things in your life. Step 4. Confront challenges and doubts. It's perfectly natural for doubts or negative thoughts to arise. This is where faith and perseverance come in. Don't get discouraged, but gently refocus on the feeling of your fulfilled desire. Remember, the universe may be testing your resolve. Step 5. Take inspired action. Embodying your desire doesn't mean sitting passively. As you hold the feeling of your wish fulfilled, be open to inspired action. You might meet the right person, have a sudden insight, or find yourself called towards an opportunity that aligns with your goals. Step 6. Surrender and Trust This process requires a degree of surrendering and trusting the universe. Release the need to control the exact how of manifestation. Believe that your desires are being orchestrated in divine timing, sometimes in ways you can't even imagine. I hope this exploration of Neville Goddard's teachings has inspired you to reimagine your approach to prayer and manifestation. Remember, the power to shape your reality lies within you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone you think might benefit. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insights on spirituality, manifestation, and personal growth. Thanks for watching.